Okay, this video is about Lesson 1.5.1, which has to do with multiplication. It is very important as you progress in your mathematics that you be proficient with multiplication facts, not because you need them to just do a multiplication problem, but you're going to need them in algebra. You're going to need them when you work with fractions. There are many, many situations where you need them. And nevertheless, I am going to grab a calculator to do some of this multiplication. All right, problem number one. It says to multiply 1 times 28. Well, that gives us a chance to talk about the special property of the number 1 when you multiply. It's called the identity. It, 1 times 28 is 28. Number 2. It, the problem is to multiply 0 times 97. And by the way, you see that they are using 1 times 28, or 0 times 97, that they are using the multiplication dot. Earlier in your math life, you might have used the multiplication x. But because we are headed into algebra where letter x represents something different, we will not use that. What we might do sometimes is put numbers in parentheses and let them just sit next door to each other and that's another way to imply that we're going to multiply. So back to number two, zero times anything is zero. Number three, I have eight times zero times seven. Well, you can just move left to right. Eight times zero is zero and then zero times seven is zero. So that product, and by the way, the answer to a multiplication problem is called a product. All right, now we're going to do a little, and by the way, you notice I didn't grab my calculator on any of those, but I probably will in the future. We have a geometric shape. It's a rectangle. And we're going to find two things. We're going to find the area and we're going to find the perimeter. It asks for the area first. Area of a geometric shape always requires a formula. The formula for the area of a rectangle is the base times the height. Sometimes it's called the length times the width. So the base, which is the bottom, it's the same as the top, so it is six meters times the height is how tall it is. That's three meters. Six times three is 18. Now, meters times meters is meters to the second power, or we have 18. It can be called square meters. So area is 18, it's a product, it's a multiplication, and it is square meters. Okay, so for that first blank, it is that choice. Because we multiplied meters times meters, and it means that there would be if we broke this into 6 meters this way and 3 meters this way, we would have 18 blocks. Each one of them would be a square meter. All right, now the perimeter. We did perimeter in our very first lesson. It is the sum of the lengths of the sides. So it is 6 meters plus 3 meters plus 6 meters plus 3 meters. And we add those, 6 and 3 is 9, and add another 9, and we will have 18 meters. Now, it is just a coincidence that we got the number 18 for both of them. But one of them says there are 18 blocks that would be 1 meter by 1 meter to cover it. That's area. 
The other one says if you took it and you unfolded this line, stretched it out like it was a string, it would be exactly 18 meters long. Now you'll see that these two numbers are not going to usually be the same. The units are definitely not the same. Let's look at number five. We're supposed to find both the area and the perimeter of the rectangle. Area of a rectangle, formula, base, times height. The base, 15 feet, times the height, which is 40 feet. This time I'm going to grab my calculator. I'm going to try to grab my Okay, I'll move it again, but I just need to multiply 15 times 40, and I get 600, and it's feet times feet, so it is sometimes written as feet to the second power, or it is 600 square feet. How many little one-foot blocks it would take to cover it up. Now the next thing we're going to do is find the perimeter. Remember, perimeter involves addition. It is 15 feet plus 40 feet plus 15 feet plus 40 feet. I'm going to use my calculator again, clearing it. I have 15 plus 40 plus 15 plus 40. I get 110 plain old feet, just plain old feet. All right, so the area was 600 square feet, and I abbreviated it, and they do not, but that's fine. That's for the first block. Perimeter, I used addition and it's 110, and it's just plain feet. So, let's summarize. When we're talking about a rectangle, the area is the base times the height, and you always get square units. The perimeter is the base plus the height, plus the base, plus the height, and you always just get plain units, like feet or inches or meters. If we were doing a triangle, we would have different formula right here. If we were doing a trapezoid, we would have a different formula. But all we've done so far, and we'll visit all kinds of different shapes, but in this lesson, it was just a rectangle. Area involved multiplication, perimeter involved addition. Square units for area, plane units for perimeter. Okay, please go ahead and do lesson 1.5.1.